never will I let a rock cry out in my place. Amen. I came to praise his name. Amen. And I'll tell you, there was uh, in our lesson, and it talked with Sister Minor, doing a wonderful job, talked Amen. about Amen. that praise and how those cherub, them seraphims, and there was something else, another little note about that. The only place that seraphims are ever mentioned in the Bible is right there. Mm -hmm. And uh, the, they are a very special because they were also present at the Ark of the Covenant of Amen. Amen. They had a seraphim on each end with wings spread out. Oh, good God Almighty. Boy, when we know something about the Lord. Yes, Amen. Amen. Good. It, um, uh, it was um, six wings. Put it in the, the wingspan here, man. Yeah. 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 The length. Yeah. Amen. Amen. I read about it in the dictionary. All right. Amen. Ain't it funny how even man, in his illustration, can come right to the place that God has already told him? That's right. But man just had to have his own thing in there. Amen. Amen. There is a name I love to sing. I hear I love to sing its word. It sounds like music in my ear. The sweetest name I know. Verses 
23 and 24. Amen. The 139th Psalm, verse 23 and 24. Amen. Amen. Everyone stands over there. <laughs> we, we're all there. Let us say amen. 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 And it reads, Search me, O God, and know my heart. Mm -hmm. Try me and know my thoughts. Lord Jesus. And see if there be any wicked way in me. Mm. And lead me in the way everlasting. Amen. amen. And as you take your seats, I want you to think with me for just a moment. A divine inspection. A divine inspection. Good God Almighty. When I was younger and I was in the military, we had many different types of inspections. And in our society, in, in, in our workplace, we have many inspections. Amen. Amen. In the military, we had a health inspection. We had a welfare inspection. We had living quarter inspections. And sometimes we even had surprise inspections. Mm -hmm. There were times when we had these surprise inspections that we had to stand beside our bunk in our undergarments early in the morning. That's right. Well, the one thing about this particular type of inspection, because it was a surprise, we were totally exposed. Amen. We couldn't hide nothing, anything. On us, nor did we have time to hide anything anywhere else. Y'all can catch up with me in a minute. In, in, in these inspections, they were looking for our compliance to the rules and regulations of the military. Making sure we were properly prepared and following orders or being obedient as soldiers in our military life. Because in the military, disobedience could cost you your life or somebody else's. Oh, I wish I had a witness in here. Are you going to pray with me for a moment? Uh, we, however, didn't request these inspections. David here is asking the Lord for a divine inspection. To have the Lord inspect him to make certain his heart is right before the God of the universe. It says, teach me, in Psalms 143.10, teach me to do thy will. Yes. For thou art my God. Thy spirit is good. Lead me unto the land of uprightness. When, when, when we want to know where we stand with the Lord, how our life is before the Lord, when we want to understand that which we don't know, when we want to know what's going on within us, we need to call on the Lord Amen. and ask Him for a divine inspection. Mm -hmm. In the 26th Psalm, verse 2, it says, Examine me, O Lord, o Lord. and prove me. O Lord. Try my reins and my heart. Mm -hmm. There must be some sincerity with yourself and with the Lord when you get to this point. You've got to be willing to expose yourself completely before the Lord. Amen. And more importantly, you've got to be honest with yourself. That's right. Yes. The Lord already knows your heart and He knows your condition. That's right. The 139th Psalms, when the word says, O oh Lord, Thou hast searched me mm -hmm. and know me. Yeah. Thou knowest my down sitting and my upright. Thou understandest my thought afar off. Thou compassest my path and my lying down, and art acquainted with all my ways. For there is not a word in my tongue, but lo, O oh Lord, thou knowest it altogether. Are you going to continue to pray with me this morning? Now, now, there are some consequences for disobedience and disregard for the ways of the Lord. Mm -hmm. Now, now I know, I know I'm not the only person here that was disobedient in my heart. No. No. Amen. I was a real pistol in my day. All right. Lord have mercy. And if I got bold enough in my heart, I'd do almost anything. That's right. 
Now notice, because you know today, they have a lot of excuses why I do things. Right, man. But I want you to notice, I didn't say that if I had enough liquor or drugs in me, I'd do anything. No. I said, if I got bold enough, bold. come on now, bold, man. I, I just had plain disregard for others. That's right. And used the excuse, yeah, now watch me now, that someone made me mad enough to do what I did. All right. It just revealed what was already in me to begin with. And I wouldn't admit it. The truth of what was in my heart was revealed. I know the Lord has been good to me because he brought me from where I was to where I am. He brought me from the living graveyard of sin and despair. He brought me from a heartless man to a man with a heart. He delivered me from a place where I had a banana peel in front of me and Satan behind me pushing me. And until all I had to do is be pushed hard enough, I slip right on in. And I wouldn't have no hope of salvation. I'm still a walking dead man. But I know I have a safe haven to go to. All right. For I'm now in the X Files. Yes, sir. Oh, yes, sir. Right. Is anyone aware of the X Files? Yes. We we all should want to be in the X Files. Yes, because the X Files places me in a classification of being an ex sinner. All right. Oh, y'all, y'all right. catch up with me. Mm -hmm. Keep praying with me for this morning. Our hearts should be a matter of prayer. Amen. <laughs> and, 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 and don't deceive yourself and say, I know my heart. That's right. And you don't be like, you don't know my heart. Jeremiah 17, 9 and 10, it says, The heart is deceitful above all things well. and desperately wicked. Right. Who can know it? I, the Lord, search the heart. I try the reins even to give every man according to the fruit of his doing. Did you hear that? The issue today is do I want to admit my heart is corrupt by some action I have taken against another? Will I admit when I know I'm doing wrong? Or look for some kind of justification to satisfy me? Will I admit that we are born in sin and shape in iniquity. Do I accept what the scripture tells me? That our righteousness is as a filthy rag. Isaiah said it in 64 and 6 through 8. But we are all as unclean things. And all our righteousness are as filthy rags. And we do and we all do fade as a leaf. And our iniquities, like the wind, have taken us away. Well. And there is none that calleth upon thy name, that stirreth up in himself to take hold of thee. Did you see? Did you hear that? Uh -huh. the Isaiah said, there's none that calleth thy name. You know, we got folk that say, oh yeah, we call on the Lord. Y'all will hear me one day. Uh -huh. For thou hast hid thy face from us, and hast consumed us because of our iniquities. Uh -huh. But now, oh Lord, thou art our Father. Yes, sir. Oh, and we got to remember this and stop trying to play the, the, the potter. Yes, right. Isaiah said, we are the clay, yes, and thou art the potter. And we all are the work of thy hand. Amen. Oh, I wish I had a witness this morning. When, when, when we accept the fact that we are subject to do almost anything, yeah. if we set our heart to it, then we'll be open to that much needed divine inspection. Oh, stay with me now. We, we spend more time trying to get acquainted with and trying to find out something about everybody else. But we don't spend a lot of time trying to find out about myself. In fact, we really don't want to hear anything about ourselves. Oh, yeah. we, we tend to defend and justify ourselves yeah. with whatever feels comfortable yeah. and with the first thing that comes to our mind. Yeah. As long today as it sounds right. Yeah. Long as it sounds right. Oh, y'all ain't good. Yeah. I wish I could preach it here today. When, 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 my, when my wife tells me 
about my faults, first thing I do is get mad. <laughs> and I tell her, hey, baby, you don't know what you're talking about. What? And she, then she'll say, okay, preacher. <laughs> and I have to stop and listen at that point because at that point, I need a divine inspection. <laughs> I must be humble enough before the Lord to accept my own faults before I say, you don't know what you're talking about. Amen. Are you with me? Amen. Anybody that don't know a lot about their own self mm. is very open to do or say almost anything, even Amen. when they know it's wrong. Amen. They'll do or say it anyway. Amen. I, I'm not here to fuss at anybody. No, no. For I have to look at me first. Amen. You can't control something you don't know anything about. Amen. Are you with me? Amen. We, we need godly character. Because it's hard for folk to get along with, with, with one another Sir. without godly character. Amen. Folks will be talking about one another Amen. in and out of the church. Amen. They can't get along with each other. No, no. Husbands and wives can't get along with each other. Say that, say that. Children can't get along say with that, each other. No, no. Teenagers would rather resort to violence and taking each other's lives because none has stopped and asked the Lord to do a divine inspection. Amen. Oh, y'all help me. Now. When, when, when we do this, then we'll find out if we have godly character. Yes, we'll find out if we are all that we thought we were. Yes, David, David understood this. And instead of looking at other folks' character, yes, he looked at himself. Yes, he did. First, he committed a terrible thing with Bethsheba. That's right. And he thought he had got away with it. Mm. Oh, help me now. You know how they think. Amen. But when Nathan the prophet Amen. confronted him, he didn't look to shift the blame. Amen. Watch me now. Nor did he say, to coin a modern day phrase, don't play or hate. <laughs> uh, or don't hate the player, Amen. hate the game. Amen. Oh, y'all help me now. He understood that the game was wrong. Amen. And that he, the player, was wrong. Amen. And he proclaimed, I, I have seen it. Right. Good God Almighty. Amen. He asked God to look at him first, to inspect everything about him. His heart, his thought, and then to try him. He understood he had faults. The Bible tells us to confess our faults. One to another. Now, this don't mean tell all your business. <laughs> but, 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 but we have to understand that we all have faults. We were formed from the ground of the earth, weren't we? Genesis says, and the Lord God formed man from the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life. Amen. And he became, and man became a living, a living soul. But well, what did he start out as? Dust. 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 Dirt. Dust. The ground. Amen. If, if you understand being born from the ground, the earth has fault lines. Amen. Anybody know anything about a little bit of science? All right. Watch me Help me, Holy Spirit. When, when, when the earth at those fault lines starts to shift and move back and forth, and the earth starts to shake it, and the core of the earth starts to get hot, lava develops, yep. and it will eventually come to the surface and spew out. That's right. Now watch this, and it'll destroy homes, it'll destroy families, it'll destroy friends, uh, it'll destroy entire neighborhoods, and it'll so enough destroy the church. Amen. Oh, I wish I had a witness up in here today. We, we, we need to request a divine inspection before our faults cause hardship yes, in our lives and everybody else's life. Yeah, yeah. When, when we ask the Lord to search us, we take a giant leap towards building godly character. Yes. For we are being truthful with ourselves. Yes. For the Lord already knows what's going on yes, with us. Not only does he know your thoughts and your heart, well, he knows what you're going through. Mm -hmm. And there, and he's there with you. Yeah, man. 2 Corinthians 4, 8 through 11. I like this. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. It said, we are troubled on every side, yet not distressed. We are perplexed, but not in despair. 
persecuted, but not forsaken. Cast down, but not destroyed. Always bearing about the body, the dying of the Lord Jesus. That the life also of Jesus might be made manifest in our body. Amen. For we live. For which, we, for which live are always delivered yes, unto death for Jesus' sake. Yeah, yeah. That the life also of Jesus might be made manifest yes, in this mortal flesh. Yes, yes, oh, i got to wrap this up now. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, Jesus had God the character. Yes, he had no faults. No Yet in Luke 18, 18 and 19, when a certain ruler came, to him, he called him good master, Amen. wanting to know what he needed to do for eternal life. Amen. Jesus turned to him and said, why callest thou good, me good? None is good, save one, that is God. We tend to think we have it all together when we feel we are saved, but we need to look at ourselves Amen. as Jesus did Amen. and understand that I am not all that I thought I was Amen. before the Lord Amen. who knows all sees all yeah. ah, and, and it, it, this is how much he knows about you well, Matthew 10 and 30 yeah, he said but every the very hairs yeah. on your head Amen. are numbered mm -hmm. if, if the Lord has taken the time yes, sir. And, and had enough love yeah. To number every hair yeah. on your head. Yeah. Uh, we ought to know that yeah. <laughs> there is nothing, nothing he doesn't know mm. about us. Wow. The question is, are we willing yeah. to acknowledge our shortcomings uh, yeah. before him? Before. Amen. We need to request yeah. a divine inspection uh -huh. yeah. to receive an understanding about ourselves. Well, oh, Jesus, Jesus suffered much that we might have yeah. an opportunity well, for a divine for inspection. Yeah. Ah, he suffered yeah. humiliation yeah. and scorn. Yeah. He suffered yeah. pain and disgrace. Yeah. For he was beaten yeah. unmercifully, uh -huh. his skin torn yeah. for our transgression, well, and he was forced to wear a crown of thorns yeah. on his head. Yeah. And if that wasn't enough, uh -huh. he was forced to carry a piece of wood yeah. up a hill called Galgotha. Yeah. Can you imagine, yeah. after all the beating, yeah. his skin raw from the whips well. and the agony uh -huh. he was going through, well. that he went on yeah. and carried that cross, uh -huh. falling yeah. and getting up until he was completely out of strength well, for you and for me. Yes, he was. Oh, good God. Uh -huh. And that wasn't all. Mm. He was nailed, nailed to that piece of wood yes, well. for you and me. Yes. But he went on anyway. You know, and after all that, yes, they even pierced him in his side. Yes, and yes, through all that, he managed enough strength yes, to look to him. Father, forgive me. Forgive them. Mm -hmm. Can you imagine how many of us would have done that? Well. And died on that cross that we may live. Mm -hmm. But that wasn't the end of the story. Amen. For three days later, mm -hmm. God raised him up with all power in his hand. That he could make intercession for you and for me. That we could go to the Father and request a divine inspection. Don't let pride distract us from humility before the Lord. If we understand anything about ourselves, we should understand that without the Lord continually inspecting us, that we will fall short in our walk. Some inspections can start taking place in our lives by attending Bible study and Sunday school. Amen. The biggest problem in the world today is nobody wants to read their Bible anymore. Right. But in Sunday school and Bible study, guess what? Yeah. You're going to get the word of God. Yeah, right. Amen. Being genuine towards one another rather than attempting to present a perception that 
We care, but it isn't in the heart. You know, oh, I, you know, I just heard that person so much about you. You'll never hear from them. You'll never see them. Except on Sunday. Amen. Amen. We need more study groups at home. Amen. And be more attentive to the word of the to the word of God. Amen. We also need leadership willing to submit to this inspection. That they will feed and guide the people placed before them by the Lord. Jesus asked Peter three times, Peter, do you love me? Peter responded, yes, Lord, I love you. Three times. And Jesus said, feed my sheep. But when I look out today and I see so many always talking about blessing the, the prophet and the man of God, I see men feeding on the sheep rather than feeding the sheep. No one is above a divine inspection. No, no. David had power. David had authority. David was a king. Yeah. David didn't have the answer to nobody in her. Right. But David realized he needed a divine inspection. Amen. And he well, asked God for it. So don't let us be so proud that we can't ask for a divine Inspection. Amen. 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 Amen.